Hello my friends, my name is Forge and welcome to another add-on release. Now last year I released an add-on and it was called the Vampires add-on. Now this is actually my very first add-on that I ever created and a year later I decided to make an update and not only did I just update it but I also introduced some brand new things so you are going to be in for a very big surprise in today's video and down below in the description you will find a link to the download and we're just going to go ahead and get right into this. So the first thing that I did actually introduce to this add-on, it's not vampire related, but it is Halloween related. And this is just something that I really wanted to go ahead and introduce. This is going to be some brand new jack-o'-lanterns and even some new card pumpkins as well. So introducing the card pumpkin sad, the pumpkin tired, we also have happy, we have a creeper, we have mad, which is very creepy may I actually add. And we also got ourselves the slime. And now you can also go and turn them into jack-o'-lanterns. And they will light up the night as well. So if I go ahead and quickly do time set night. I'm going to go ahead and show you this. So time and then set and then midnight. As you can see it's going to go ahead and light up the areas. And so you can go ahead and use this for like decoration. But on the downside you're not going to be able to rotate them in any which way that you want. So they're always going to be facing in that direction. So please bear that in mind. But anyways with all that said. If you do want to go and get them it's actually very simple. All you need to do is get yourself a normal pumpkin, grab yourself a stone cutter, and then you can make yourself any of these pumpkins that you want. Now after that one, if you grab yourself a torch, go ahead and combine that with one of these different pumpkins, and then they'll become that jack-o'-lantern of that choice. So for example, if I go and put in the sad one, we get ourselves a sad jack-o'-lantern out of the thing. This is going to talk about what this add-on is all about. It is vampires, and I actually wanted to introduce some new things for the vampire add-on, for a very long time. I just haven't been able to do it because you know you have, you have to wait a whole year for Halloween and I don't want to release Halloween add-on when it's not even Halloween as of yet. So anyways if I go and come inside here these are all the vampires. I did not change any textures. I did not change any properties. All that I did do was change their loot tables and I also introduced some brand new weapons and some brand new food. So for our first little thing here I'm just going to go and grab all these different vampires and I'll go ahead and show you on what they now drop because they will actually drop a vampire tooth. Now this vampire tooth is going to be useful for getting yourself a burning type of weapon which is the vampire tooth dagger. So if I go and stick down the vampire villager and I just go ahead and smite him down, watch what happens, he will drop one of these. Now sometimes he'll drop one, sometimes he'll drop two. Now I actually made it to where it drops zero to two teeth because you know it's just dropping the fangs not their entire jar or something like that. So I just thought that that would be quite balanced right there. So anyways, um, all the different vampires, they will go and drop that as well. So bear that in mind. But just going ahead and going all the way to our little chest here. If I go ahead and grab myself the stone and our stick, we can go and combine that with the tooth to get ourselves our vampire tooth dagger. Now I do want to point out that the vampire tooth can be used as a weapon as well. So if I stick down this villager again, and I go ahead and whack him with this tooth. It takes about one, two, three, four, five hits to go ahead and kill that guy. But if you go ahead and get yourself the dagger, the dagger is going to be a little bit more powerful, but it also gives you a special effect. It gives you night vision and speed. So you're going to be able to go a lot faster and you're going to be able to see underneath the water and of course around your world a lot better than if you didn't have it on at all. Of course, switch off of it, then it goes right back to normal. But anyways, stick down the different vampire villager again. I'm actually going to use this guy because he's ready here. But watch how many hits it takes. One, two, three. So it's a lot better. It's about the same as like an iron sword. So you're going to be able to go and use this in like PvP or perhaps battling enemies and stuff like that. It's really, really awesome. But anyway, if you want to craft it, you just need to get yourself a stick, grab yourself some stone, and then grab yourself the vampire tooth. And then you get yourself the vampire tooth dagger and that's pretty much it for that one. Of course the stone representing the part stone that's inside of there. Um, but anyways that's pretty much it for those. But there's also a brand new type of food. There is now raw bat wings. Yes um, and if you're wondering about the name I tried fixing that. I, I had uh, no idea on how to fix that. I looked it within the files. Everything was correct. So I don't know what's going on with that one. But anyways, these can be used as food. The raw bat wing, it will only give you like about 0.5 hunger bars. So it's not going to be very good whatsoever. But hey, you know what? You, it's there. You can eat it. And if you're wondering, if you kill a bat, that is how you get yourself the raw bat wing. 
and also the vampire bats you're going to be able to kill them and then also drop the wing as well and you're probably wondering about what's different about these and as you can see this is their face yeah they have red eyes and they have fangs and they will go to come after you but let me quickly demonstrate me giving myself a bat wing so over here i have myself a little test hole and i can just go ahead and spawn in the vampire bat and i can just go ahead and whack him and then we should get ourselves a nice little bat wing and there we go we got ourselves our little raw bat wing and the same thing goes for the standard bats as you can see right there so bats they're no longer useless so thank goodness on that part but you can also go ahead and cook them as i mentioned earlier so you can go ahead and come over here and you can go ahead and use yourself a campfire so you just have to right click on there to go and place them down and then after about 30 seconds they will go ahead and plop off and then you can just go and eat them all that you want you know what they say tasty bat wings are so good but anyways we also got ourselves the furnace so you can use yourself the standard furnace i can just go ahead and chuck down there or you can use yourself a smoker so i can put that right side of there and that's what's going to go ahead and cook up a lot faster so we do got ourselves the vampire and this dude he can actually summon in those different vampire bats that i actually showed you earlier and he also summons in the vampire villagers so if i go ahead and go over to game mode s just watch this as you can see it's going to do what the evokers do and then after a few seconds it's going to spawn in those different villagers stuff like that but these are quite quick and they are pretty powerful as well um so you do have to be very very careful with these dudes but i'm going to switch back to game mode c and yeah he doesn't chase you for too much long after you get away from him so just bear that in mind but anyways back to these other dudes because these actually have the special property of the villager zombies okay the zombie villagers and stuff like that so you can actually cure them just like the same way just use yourself a weakness potion and a golden apple and then after a few minutes they will go ahead and transform into one of the new villager types from the village of village update like for example if i go ahead and place down the librarian and i just go ahead and splash him with the weakness watch what happens i give him the apple and then he just does what the zombie villagers do um but anyways i'm just gonna go and quickly show you all the other ones really fast so they do work all the same way so bear that in mind so we got ourselves the butcher we've got ourselves the farmer we got the librarian we got the smith and then we've got ourselves the normal vampire villager. And then of course we've got ourselves the priest. If I go ahead and just spawn in a bunch of villagers. And then I go and spawn in a vampire. Watch this. You see they take notice and they all run away. They absolutely are terrified of these dudes. And you know what? I cannot blame them. I am scared of vampires as well. So yeah you want to stay away from the vampires. If you actually try to get yourself a vampire villager from them. I'm sorry but you're not going to be able to get yourself any vampire villagers from the standard villagers you're only going to be able to get them by finding them spawning throughout your world naturally but anyways that's pretty much it for what i've done for this add-on update and just let me know what you think of this down below in the comments and yet again if you want to download this there will be a link down below and so you can go ahead and play around with all the vampires you can go ahead and get yourself the vampire daggers and the new types of food as well but of course if you enjoyed this video then also let me know by leaving a like on it and subscribe so you never miss an upload. And for now, I hope you have a logical day and I catch you next time.